Hello and a very warm welcome to today's Impulse. My name is Erika Bruce and as a life purpose coach I receive often the question how I made the transition from working in traditional jobs to doing what I'm doing today. And this inspired me a few years ago to publish a little booklet that is available on my website and I combined this booklet with a guided meditation. So if you head over to erika-inspiration.com and the, the section shop, you will find it uh, under the name Discover Your Calling and Connect with Your Higher Purpose. In this booklet, I share a few aspects from my personal journey, but it is mainly um, meant to assist those who truly are inspired from within, motivated from within, to become everything that they can become in this particular life. And uh, in the recent coaching session that I had, I noticed that I did not mention something in the booklet. It uh, slipped from my awareness, right, when I was uh, writing it. But now uh, I remember that uh, most likely the big turning point happened in my mid-twenties. When I had a conversation with a woman who gave me a very simple advice, back then there was something that I wanted to do, and um, I used the excuse that the timing is not right, or I used the excuse that I can't do it right now. And what she said to me, she said, when I don't do it now, at some point it might be too late, at some point I might be too old, or my health condition won't allow it, and... Uh, even though it sounds very simplistic, very logical, the way how she said it and uh, taking into the consideration the overall context of my situation I was in back then, something shifted within me, something shifted within me and it was the catalyst I needed to begin to put out a different energy. From this point onwards I began to truly listen to my heart's calling and to do everything that was possible with the options that were available i um, implemented what was possible and i always stretched myself i always began uh, from this point onwards to take courageous steps and that's why um, i noticed that it is easier to fulfill your higher purpose the sooner you begin the early earlier in life you begin and uh, that's because usually when someone um, is around 35 40 and they did not build this muscle before of uh, ad adjusting and adapting and taking courageous steps they are so set in the comfort they are so set in the habitual ways that they um, lack simply the incentive, the motivation and the courage to do the necessary shifts because it is inconvenient. And uh, that's why I encourage you to um, train this muscle and uh, also no matter what age you are, you can, you can stretch yourself. You can stretch yourself. The more you practice, the easier it will be to take those courageous steps. And the essential oils that can support you with this are ginger. Amazing, amazing in terms of strengthening the solar plexus chakra and also to give you this necessary um, fiery energy that you begin to implement the necessary steps. Another one is the On Guard blend. I call it the warrior from the bottle. And the third one, rosemary. Rosemary helps you to make very clear very focused decisions because you want to also strengthen your decision-making ability. This is where people are often stuck. They feel that they can't um, decide uh, um, in, in a way that feels empowering. And ultimately, it is better to make a decision and then to align, to align all of your energy than not to make any decision at all and to remain in this wobbly space. And the other three essential oils that I love to use, especially if someone is ready, ready to make these necessary shifts, are the three essential oil blends from the yoga collection. I have here the Anchor blend, the Align and the Rice blend. 
they are very effective in terms of uh, amplifying amplifying the progress and speeding up also the process. Another um, challenge that often comes up when I uh, connect with clients privately is that they feel that they have too many responsibilities to live out their um, heart's calling, right, or the higher purpose. And here there are various perspectives. Sometimes it can be also a habit, a sabotage habit, to take on unnecessary responsibility so that uh, you don't have to follow the, the path of your soul. Sometimes it can be also the inability to let go because when you would like to experience some shifts or to live uh, a life that represents the highest expression of yourself, it is important to let go. So um, we, we need to take, um, we need to set the intention to create space and it usually implies that we need to let go something. Oftentimes, um, even if there is a responsibility such as uh, looking after young children, right? When we um, set the intention to um, align with our higher purpose, the way will begin gradually to show up and the reality will begin to rearrange so that you are supported in your current circumstances, no matter um, how many responsibilities you have, that you will begin to see options and opportunities that you could not perceive when you were operating from the belief that uh, you have too many responsibilities. And it is a frequency thing. So th the moment we uh, raise our frequency, we begin to become aware of different uh, opportunities that were not visible to us when we were operating in the low frequency. And lower frequency um, also means when you feel stuck, you're automatically in a lower frequency. When you feel disempowered, um, you can have many responsibilities, right? But it can uh, come from a very empowering and um, a, and a very um, strong place where you feel that um, you actually are very capable, right? You, you can handle, you can juggle many things. So this uh, responsibility have taught you how to build up resilience. So it's always a matter of perspective. This is uh, my impulse of the day. And um, if you would like to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, um, then you're welcome to um, reach out to me. The most booked package um, that uh, I have created a few years ago is the VIP Clarity Package. And this is the uh, fast track, how you can progress. Um, you can also use the available tools that I have on my website. I have also a private Facebook group, especially for those who are interested um, in learning more about essential oils. And everyone has a different pace, but one-on-one -on -one work is um, the um, deepest work that I offer. And this is also something that I truly, truly enjoy doing. I love to see how my clients transform. I love to see how they begin to tap into the parallel realities and uh, experience dimensions that they could uh, not perceive before because they were uh, um, stuck in certain ways, in certain patterns. And life becomes uh, a much more enjoyable, much more expansive and much more uh, fascinating journey when we co-create with others. So if this uh, feels uh, um, exciting, I love to hear from you. Otherwise, I would love to hear about your most courageous stories. If you would like to share with me, please comment below this video. If you watch it on Facebook, if you watch it on YouTube, please drop me an email. I will uh, paste the contact details below um, and you're welcome also to reach out to me if you are interested in the essential oils. I use the essential oils from Deuterra and I found that they um, have been a great catalyst, a great um, tool that accelerated uh, the purification and clearing journey and also supported uh, many individuals who worked with them diligently and consciously to 
develop all the necessary qualities um, so that they could uh, live the, the life that um, was a representation of the highest expression. My name is Erika Bruce. I'm a life purpose coach and also a holistic spiritual counselor. And you can find um, more details about my work at www.erika-inspiration.com. Erika Whiskey.